Welcome to GT Racers. Before we start this video, I want you to go over to my friend at ARC Garage and look at the good videos about Alfa Romeos. Today I want to present an idea that I have that I really want to do. And that is to do videos about how to do performance enhancements in my Alfa GT and in the Coupe Fiat. And one thing that has been bugging me since the winter, that is the concept of electric turbos. And I know, some of you will scream now and say, no, Chinese electric turbos. No, of course, they're crawling all over eBay. I know they crawl over all of eBay. And they are completely garbage, of course. But during the winter, I saw one Dutch company called Torque Amp, and they had um, a, what do you call it? Kickstarter campaign where they tried to raise money to start uh, production and selling more tour camps. I understand they all, the, 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 the production was already almost finished, they just needed more like money. And now they have started it. So in my head, I was like, what if I could get my hands of one of tour camps, electric turbos? Dash superchargers. I say turbos. I know you can say superchargers, but I say it's turbos. But what if, I could, what if I could get my hands on one of those and try to install it in my Alpha GT and see what happens? And also do a installment in the Fiat Coupe and see what happens there too. So what is an electric turbo? Well, so as you all know, a turbo is exhaust driven. That means it takes the pressure and the flow of hot air from the exhaust and push it back up to the turbo and that spins up, sucks in a lot of air into the engine so the horsepower increase and the torque increase too. A supercharger, ah, it's similar, but it's the normal thing is it's belt driven. So when you push the throttle, the sucks in, I mean it's, it's proportional to your you know, pressing down the pedal, but, but with the turbo, it's a problem with the lag, because the engine, when you push down, engine has to rev up to a certain amount for the flow to make the turbo really sucking in air. So you have a turbo lag. I have been looking at exhaust-driven turbos and belt-fed supercharger for my Alpha GT, but I realized the sheer amount of work I have to do to put them in is like big. You have to take up all the engine and you and it, you have to have a lot of skills and knowledge that I really don't have. So if I bought one of those, I would have to take my Alpha and the Supercharger or the Turbo and take it to a specialist mechanic who will put it in. And I'm like, a lot of money. I can't make videos. I don't want to do that. So the whole concept for me of, of using the electric turbo is very appealing. And why I like Torque Amp's idea is that their electric turbo that works as a supercharger, that means that the more you press down the, the throttle, proportionally it revs up the electric turbo. So you have a direct, almost direct, uh, effect. So it's no lag. And why this work, as I understand, is because this electric turbo has an external power source. Because all the Chinese shit you see on the eBay, they, you have to take that from your whole car battery, the 24 volts car battery. And of course, that's sapping energy also from the battery, so everything else would like go down in effect. But the idea is here that they have a 48 volt charger. That charge, when you drive, it charge, and when you need, and you push down, and you, yeah, at a certain level, I don't know how much, you can probably fix that yourself, it will take charging from the 48 volt and just push it straight into the turbo. And I think, hmm, I can do this. And also, I like the idea, if I do this in the Alpha, I don't have to, you know, butcher everything. I don't have to take out the engine. I can probably very easily... Uh, like in two hour work, I could put this in and start working. Yeah. So why am I telling you this? Now, it's because I want to see if 
there's someone out there who would be interesting to seeing this because I think for me it would be interesting is there anyone out there who also have an Alfa Romeo of any model or a Fiat of any model or any car of any model would be interesting to see an amateur like me actually managing to do this and of course we need to do dyno before and after and remapping of course to make everything work so you see it, it, it's a, it's a still a big process with many steps and you always have so many good comments and you have always so many good ideas so please give me some feedback am i stupid or could i actually do this and could it be fun and could it be fun videos to see if it works I have watched Torcam's own videos that they have on your YouTube channel where they do dinos and they try it on many different kinds of, of, of vehicles. But you know, I get skeptical because they are doing it. And that is not very objective. So actually, this idea was not really very hot for me until I saw Cletus McFarland. He did first a sheep shinies test and that went, of course, badly wrong and it doesn't work uh, and then after that tour camp i don't know how they got in contact with each other but someone called someone they sent over one of their electric turbos and cleese mcfallen did first one video that got very popular amazing amount of hits and it's like hmm actually this works and then he, then he and the team continued to do more videos and testing this and then i got damn I can do this. I can really do this. And even newbies me can do this. So, yeah, let's get us a Torcamp Electro Turbo Dash Supercharger. Thank you for watching this small idea video. So, please like and subscribe and give me comments if this is a good idea or if it's a bad idea or any kind of comments. Just be polite. So, I answer to almost every comment. Goodbye and have a very good Tuesday, I think.